y'all doing, folks? It's Popo again. Uh, we're gonna have us an update. We're gonna have an update on this flea treatment. Here you go. Yeah. This is uh, this is Tater Tot. He already got that name before I got him. I got him about three months old. I'll show him to you in a minute. Anyway, uh, I made a video. Papa's 50 cent answer to uh, $50 flea treatments. And I showed using this stuff right here. Bear Advanced Tree and Shrub Protect and Feed. Now, this is what I used a few years ago. <laughs> the bottle still feels like I ain't poured none out of it. And when I got tater tot, yeah. When, when I got tater tot, I uh, went looking for my tree and shrub there. It's a middle clovered. It's spelled like this. A middle clovered. So Google that chemical. Anyway, I had I had gone to all right, all right. I had gone to uh, uh Walmart and I looked at them little ampules to see what they were using and they was using a middle clover like I don't know the treatment was fifty dollars and I'm going oh hell no I like doing it cheap anyway get to the chase Paul Paul get to the point I couldn't find this and some people had told me that they went looking for it and was told that it was no longer manufactured and I'm going, oh my God. So I went to Tractor Supply. Now, I paid, I think it was $18.99 for that. So I go to Tractor Supply and uh, I asked if they had that. They said, no. And I said, well, I gotta find something. I said, if you got anything that's got a middle cloper in it. Guy says, I don't know. Well, I perused, I perused the, uh, shelves and I found this instead of bare advanced tree and shrub this is annual tree and shrub and this I think was $15.99 for this quart and uh And this one is actually got a little more a middle cloper in it than that one. And it's less money. So I bought that, brought it home, put it on tighter tight, and within an hour all the fleas was dead. That's one thing about a middle cloper. It acts fast now. I'm gonna try to answer a bunch of questions y'all had last time. But uh, as you can see, he's really affected by it, right? But uh, what I do is I, 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 give, I give him the first dosage and that's just put a little bit between his back there at the base of his tail and a little bit between his shoulder blades and rub it in with your fingers. Make sure it comes in contact with his skin. And uh, then I check for fleas about three days later. And they go because fleas will go through a cycle. The ones I killed today might have laid eggs this morning. You know, and a few days later, then the eggs hatch, you got fleas. And Tater Tot lays his little head right here. <laughs> right here. <laughs> when I kick back my recliner and he sleeps between my legs with his head laying right there. And I. Well, I didn't want no fleas on me. Uh-oh. Could it be a telemarketer? Yellow?
Hey, how you doing? Well, no, I I'm, I'm busy right now because your mama is taking good care of me, if you know what I mean. Don't take them long to hang up after that, does it? Damn telemarketers. My wife said, you're going to get in trouble for that. And I said, why? They called me. Anyway, have a treat. He likes vanilla wafers. But anyway, back to the middle clopard. Do your own research. Google it. Read all about it. Look at all the questions it's asked. Number one, it's not harmful to mammals. And a mammal is a creature that gives life birth, okay? One of these hairy things like cats and dogs. Won't hurt them. Won't hurt them at all. Of course, you don't want to let, you don't want to drink it or nothing. Ow! Anyway, you're not used to me talking, are you? Uh, a middle clopard is very effective. <laughs> There's another chemical out there in one of the other uh, little $50 ampule things. Fibronil or something like that. Cinebril. You can look it up. And it's not as effective. Now, it'll last a long time. But it's not effective immediately. So, get you some a middle clopid. Do your own research. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to hurt your dog. It's not going to hurt your cat. You don't want your children licking the licking the dog until that stuff gets dry. But uh, after it dries, you can cuddle with the dog like it ain't no problem. You can cuddle with him or her. So. They say, how much do I use? I oh, just, whatever, a little squirt. You know, I put some in a... I put some in a bottle like that right there. Pour like that much in it, and that's enough for a long time. But I just take and part his hair and put it down there on his skin and rub it in with my fingertips. Same thing at the top base of his tail. And that's it. And, uh, you know, an hour or two later, there ain't no fleas. I love it. And uh, so does Tater Tot. Tater Tot, you like it too, don't you? <laughs> Come here, Tater Tot. <laughs> yeah. This is tater tot. <laughs> Woo! Oh, you got teeth like nut, like, shit, like needles. So, get you some. Make your dog happy. Ain't no scratching going on. Y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye, everybody.